One important key to success is self-confidence. An important key to self-confidence is preparation. With those words of former American tennis player Arthur Ashe, I welcome you to Secret Public Speaking. My name is Shirley Harrison. The first step towards delivering a superb speech is choosing the right topic. Most times your topic will be given to you. But if for any reason you are allowed to choose your topic, choose the one you are familiar with and the one you really feel excited to talk about. Once you're excited about your topic, you will deliver your speech enthusiastically. After getting a topic, there are three questions you need to find their answers. Let's consider them one after the other and see why each of them is very important. 1. What is the speech all about? This question will help you to remain on track as you prepare your speech. If you are not mindful of this question, you might deviate from your topic into areas your speech is not supposed to touch on. 2. Will I be arguing an idea, explaining an idea or narrating an event? If you are arguing an idea, you should know that there are opposing ideas and there are some in your audience who hold those ideas. Therefore your speech should not only support your idea, it should be able to discredit the opposing ideas. If you are to explain an idea, your concern is how best to explain the idea in such a way that most, if not everyone in your audience understand the idea. If your speech is just to narrate an event, you will focus on presenting the event in a simple way that will not confuse your audience. 3. Who are my audience? The answer to this question will determine a lot of things. If your audience are not highly educated, you will use easy to understand words and you will do the opposite if your audience comprises of highly educated people. The answer will also determine the kind of illustrations and examples you will use while delivering your speech. What do the audience already know? What do you want them to know? Is your aim to change or sustain their view? These questions must be answered as you consider who your audience are. So a well-prepared speech might turn out to be a very bad speech depending on your audience. Once you can rightly answer those questions, your preparation is almost complete. Next step is to divide your speech into three introduction, body, conclusion. In our next video, we will discuss introduction, and in our subsequent videos, we will look at the body and the conclusion. On behalf of Joseph Jacob, I wish you a nice day.